What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE action figure setup, and we are talking about Royal Rumble Edition. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE action figure setup, and we have an insane one for you, man. The entire backstage is full, and we are prepping for Royal Rumble 2024, where I will be there in person. Super excited for the show. Will be my second Royal Rumble ever. We're keeping it a streak going. This will be my second year in a row, but today, we're going to be detailing this setup, which has a bunch of WWE superstars strewn throughout, and we even have some action going on in the office over there. But nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up, dive into our setup, and take you guys around the entire thing. So I guess what we can do is start off in the GM's office right here, man, and we do have Triple H, and he is talking to a bunch of superstars trying to prep them for the Royal Rumble, or at least bargain them to show up at the Royal Rumble, and maybe we will see these superstars, man. We do have Matt Cardona, aka Zack Ryder, we have Brock Lesnar, and we have John Cena here. Now, at the time of recording this video, I do not have my predictions out. I don't think so, and so some things are subject to change. Maybe some things happen on Friday Night SmackDown that I'm unaware of, but I am going to go ahead and predict that I think we might see Matt Cardona. We might see Brock Lesnar return, and we might see the return of John Cena, but in here we do have them talking amongst themselves with Triple H and seeing if he can conduct them to come back to the WWE and Royal Rumble, man. I think it's definitely possible, so we'll have to see, especially heading into Mania season with Chelsea Green on the roster and everything like that. I think we could see all three of these men show up at the Royal Rumble. Now, if we come through the GM's office, man, you guys will see none other than Jade Cargill, who I think will be making her WWE debut in the Women's Royal Rumble match. I think that this is definitely going to be a case, and I hope that we get a figure of her within the next year. You know, usually when figures come out, it's usually a year after, and so I would expect maybe by the end of 2024, probably at San Diego Comic-Con, we would probably see at least a render image of an upcoming Jade Cargill figure. But if we come to the left, man, we do have Drew McIntyre trying to get his prep in. I think he's going to have a good showing in the Royal Rumble, but we do have Drew McIntyre right here, man. This is a figure that I made, and I wanted to do this on surgery, but I did not have time to but we have this updated AJ Styles figure in his black pants now I gotta be real I can't stand this look of AJ Styles that he's currently rocking right now but it still makes for a cool figure I think that all the parts we have going on right here really looks pretty good you got the black gloves the long pants and everything and you know what if he wants to rock it I guess it works but damn man give me some black tights I'd like to see some black tights just you know go back to your old attire and wear some black tights with some white accents and stuff like that. You can keep your same heel gimmick and your pissed off long beard jack self. Just give me a different gear, please. Thank you. We go just beyond that, man. We do have Pete Dunn and Tyler Bate discussing strategy for the Royal Rumble. Now, I don't know if we'll see these men in the Royal Rumble, but I think it's definitely possible. And one thing that really popped me is being a massive Pete Dunn fan is seeing Pete Dunn return to his name, Pete Dunn, and not Butch. I always hated that. I didn't like the gimmick. I didn't like... The way he was presented, I didn't like the name change, made no sense, man. And he also had one of the hardest themes in WWE, but hopefully Pete Dunne will return with a vengeance. But we have him and Pete, or him and Tyler Bate, I should say, kind of discussing everything right here prior to the Royal Rumble match. Coming just beyond that, we do have the New Day. And if you guys see this, I think it's possible that we could see a return of Big E. Now, I know that would make for an epic moment, right? Big E would return, have a great showing in the Royal Rumble. I don't think he would win or anything like that, but seeing Big E back in a WWE ring, I was actually front row for SmackDown when he actually hurt his neck. It was his last match. It was the last match where he did get injured on the floor. I was right there, right in front of the action. And to be in person to see him return would be epic, but I have him kind of celebrating here that moment. He's got the neck brace up, and New Day is helping him celebrate or be with him here in this celebration. Can you imagine Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods ch chilling in the ring, fighting? The buzzer goes off, and it's Big E coming out, man. And, like, especially if he kept it a secret, that would be so crazy. That'd be a great WWE moment right there for the ages. Coming from this spot, man, we do have Seth freaking Rollins, and he is talking with the WWE medical staff or the doctor right here. He's got his world championship, Becky Lynch, obviously, his wife there with him. He's got his knee brace on with his crutch. He's just discussing plans with the doctor, trying to make it back for WrestleMania. Hopefully, he'll be back before WrestleMania, and we'll have to see what conducts there. But I'm intrigued with WrestleMania season right now. I think the Seth Rollins injury you throw in with CM Punk and Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns and The Rock and all these rumors of these people coming back, I mean, there's so many different things going on. I am very intrigued this WrestleMania season, but seeing Seth Rollins on the shelf is very bummy. 
Hopefully he will return soon and we will get him back in action. But this is probably my favorite part of the setup. I just like him in the suit there. He's discussing with the doctor. He got the doc on the stool right there. I did use like an old Ted DiBiase head sculpt, but I like it. I think it completes the illusion. But if we come back from that, man, we do come forward a little bit and we have the Judgment Day. We have Damian Priest, Dominic Mysterio, Rhea Ripley, and then we do have Finn's Undisputed Tag Championships right here on the table. And they're pretty much just listening to our truth So our truth and Miz, you know, our truth really is kind of babbling to the Judgment Day, you know, trying to get in that faction, trying to just play his little mind games and, you know, do whatever's going on there. And Miz is talking to him like, what are you doing, Truth? Like, what the hell are you doing, man? We've already seen this doesn't work. And then you see Finn Balor back there about to come and jump our Truth from behind and the Miz and beat the tar out of him. So that's what we got going on right here. We have Judgment Day Finn about to jump these guys and they're just talking to the rest of the Judgment Day right here. I expect all the members of Judgment Day to be in the Rumble have a solid showing. Coming forward for that, man, we do have Logan Paul over here drinking a bottle of Prime. He's got his U.S. championship and everything going on right there, which looks pretty cool. I'm genuinely hoping that Kevin Owens does capture the U.S. championship from Logan Paul, but I'm not too optimistic for that. We'll have to see exactly what takes place. But across the table, we do have L.A. Knight. So L.A. Knight is joining in, and they're just having a beverage here before the Royal Rumble action kicks off. So we do have LA Knight chilling with Logan Paul. They kind of seem like they would hang out a little bit. So I just, you know, I just have them here sharing a beverage in the backstage area. And then if we come forward, man, we do have CM Punk and Cody Rhodes squaring off, man. And when they met on Monday Night Raw the other night, I was on the edge of my seat. I thought the action was great, or not the action, but the just the tension in the building. I cannot wait to see them come to blows at the Royal Rumble. I think it's going to be excellent, should be awesome. And I think possibly one of these men are going to be walking out with Royal Rumble victory. Is it going to be Cody Rhodes with the back-to-back, -back, or is it going to be CM Punk showing up and stealing the limelight there? Or will it be somebody completely out of left field? Will it be The Rock? I genuinely feel like this year is so unpredictable, even when it comes to the surprise entrance and whatnot, man. But we do have these guys squaring off here in the setup, and I thought that it made for a really cool photo. So we do have Cody and CM Punk facing off, ready to do war inside Royal Rumble. Sliding to the right, man, we do have Jimmy and Jay Uso getting into a fist fight right here, man. I think that Jimmy is absolutely going to be in the Rumble. Jay is going to be in the Rumble. And I think that even if Jimmy isn't in the Rumble, he's going to cost Jay Uso his opportunity at the championship and a WrestleMania main event. I think that Jimmy could eliminate Jay, and we're going to have our brother versus brother matchup at WrestleMania. I think we're going to get a Hardy Boys style situation, and the Usos are going to come to blow here and it should be epic, so I can't wait for that. But I have them kind of fighting here. It's not the best pose of all time, but, you know, he tackled him. His hat fell off. You get the whole point here. Coming to the right a little bit, man, we have Randy Orton, and Randy Orton participating in the Fatal 4-Way right. I'm very much looking forward to that matchup. But Randy Orton, one of my dudes right here, he's got the RKO hoodie on, and he's just on the phone, man. He's kind of just... I don't know what he's doing, really. I, I didn't have a spot for him. I kind of ran out of space. This was the last thing I had, but I still had Randy Orton. I said, you know what? Put his ass on the phone. Put him over there in the corner, over there by Baron Corbin, and we will uh, we'll conduct that. Only real ones will understand that joke. Randy Orton just chilling on the phone right here. If we come forward, we do have a security officer and a WWE Intel style guy, head of security, and he is letting someone in the door here. We have through the back door in the hood. Who is this going to be? Is going to be none other than The Rock coming in, man. I think The Rock could make an appearance at the Rumble. Could be the number 30 entrant. I'm hearing rumblings. Maybe it could be Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't know. I'm open for anything, man. I'm going to be there in person yelling my face off, ready to go. But The Rock, I have him sneaking in the back door right here, ready to go. And they're trying to get him to the locker room secretly, even though he is legitimately walking you know, through the entire setup, whatever. But this is my, like, exit door, so I figured, you know, put him here. I had him here last year, and he did not show up. I, was kind of, I wasn't really disappointed. I just didn't like Cody at number 30. I would have liked to seen, you know, a surprise entrant at 30, but I have The Rock showing up here at the setup, and I think he, I think he's going to show up. I mean, hopefully he will show up in a surprise entrant or just cause some havoc at the Royal Rumble. We come just beyond that, man. We are in the catering area. We have Shinsuke Nakamura and DIY, or Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, getting in on our catering. So we do have a little catering set up right here, which is always fun. And I think it looks, oh my God, the, the freaking food is out of line. It's still kind of out of line, but it looks a lot better than it did. I think I dropped a light bulb out of this lamp above it or something like that. But yeah, you get it. They're, they're enjoying the beverages and the food options before they go out for their action. Oh my god, I just noticed a damn can's knocked over. Can we just be on that? We do have what's remaining of the bloodline. We do have Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, and Solo Sokoa chilling here. I think Solo will be an entrant in the Royal Rumble. 
And then we have Roman Reigns defending the championship, of course, in the Fatal 4-Way match. Should be really epic. Really excited for that matchup as well. Could he lose the championship, man? That is the big question. I'm not sure. I mean, because he could lose it without pinning anybody. I'm just hoping we get a really damn good match. Really excited for it. So hopefully it will be good. But will we get a new champion? I don't think so. I think he'll drop it at Mania if he ever drops it whatsoever. But I like this shot of Roman just chilling here. Got the We The One shirt on. He's just kind of the calm before the storm here in the Royal Rumble 2024 setup. Come forward here, man. We do have Alpha Academy chatting it up. We have Otis and Chad Gable and Akira Tozawa. And Chad Gable's just kind of trying to hype him up, I think, is what I have going right here. He's got that stern look pointing at him. Not telling him to shoosh. I guess he's telling him to shoosh so he can, you know, explain what he's trying to say here. But I think they have a plan going into the Rumble. I do believe all three are confirmed to be in the Rumble, so I expect them to do some cool things. Maybe we'll get a worm set up. Maybe we'll get some cool suplexes from Gable. And maybe we'll get some noise made from him and Alpha Academy. But we have them just kind of setting up uh, sort of a meeting here, trying to describe their plan for the Royal Rumble. We come back here, we do have an interview with Gunther interviewing, talking about how he's going to win the Royal Rumble and go after Seth Rollins' championship, as we saw on Monday Night Raw. He's going to come after him and try to steal away the championship. And so maybe we'll see a dual champion. Maybe Gunther could win it all. I could see him winning it all. It could definitely take place, but I think I would have other ideas, which we'll get into in my fantasy booking ideas or my fantasy booking video, or I may have already explained that. I don't know which video is going up first, but Gunther is conducting an interview prior to the Rumble here. And if we go to the left, we do have the Pride. We have Bobby Lashley, Montez Ford, and Angelo Dawkins, or the Pride, or the Street Profits, formerly known as, or whatever you want to say here. As their new faction, you know, I have pretty high hopes for it. I think this is a cool faction to form here. We just have Angelo Dawkins putting everybody on notice, yelling out. So we'll have to see what comes of that. But I did want to have them represented, so we do have all three of these members here. And then finishing it up, we do have Sami Zayn returning and giving a bro hug to Kevin Owens here as he is about to do war with Logan Paul. We haven't seen Sami Zayn on television for a little bit now, I do believe. I don't think since War Games, maybe. Or maybe shortly after that, I can't remember exactly. Maybe my mind's fried. I don't know what the hell's going on. But Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, maybe we see Sami Zayn return at the Rumble. I, I would be genuinely shocked if he wasn't at the Royal Rumble, so we'll have to see. But, you know, old friends, bitter enemies, you guys know the rivalry history of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. We shall see going into WrestleMania season. But that is pretty much my Royal Rumble 2024 setup, man. Had a lot of fun with these. I always enjoy these setups, man. The setups are really fun, really creative. Get the creative juices flowing. You could set up a bunch of stuff here. But here's just a nice aerial shot so you guys can see the level of detail. I'll try to pour as many details as I possibly can into these. But let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite part of the setup is. Down in the comment section below, I greatly appreciate it. Before we get out of here, a huge shout-out to our patron members of the EMDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for all of your support as always and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i will see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and i'll catch you later